tonight on Most Shocking. A gang of thieves drive through a storefront and clean the place out. Then, two armed and dangerous drug addicts go berserk on a terrified cashier. Plus, a sinister team of robbers storm a bank, taking money and blood. And a group of technophiles break into an electronic store, then fill their car with stolen goods. Come on! Then later, a jeweler fights back against a desperate gunman. This is not a movie. Everything you're about to see is real. Brace yourself. This is most shocking. Robberies and holdups. Pritchard, Alabama. It's opening time at the Commonwealth National Bank. Except for a few employees and a security guard, the branch is empty. Suddenly, the calm is shattered. A pair of robbers storms in, one of them armed. They had cased the bank, they knew the timing, they knew when the, when the uh, certain people were coming in and out. The security guard gets off one shot, then has to flee a barrage of bullets. The gunman was armed with a semi-automatic AK-47 assault rifle. With this type of weapon, the suspect was able to fire off many rounds as fast as he can pull the trigger. The retreating guard tries to dodge the gunfire, but a searing round punctures his leg. The two tellers cower as the men approach their windows. The accomplice catapults himself over the counter and makes the cash grab. Well, the jittery gunman keeps his finger on the trigger and his barrel aimed at bystanders. Then, after filling the bank full of holes and shooting a guard, they take the money and run. And all of this took place in less than 30 seconds. There were AK-47 shell casings all over the branch. It was just horrifying. The pair make off with only $500. The entire robbery and apparent raid for drug money. The accomplice is soon apprehended, and it doesn't take long before he cuts a deal and turns in his trigger-happy friend. Gunman received 25 years in the federal penitentiary, and his accomplice received 99 months also in the federal penitentiary. The two are lucky they are not serving time for murder. The injured guard survives. He has re fully recovered. If he had stood there and tried to take on an AK-47 with a handgun, we would have been having a funeral. They exchanged hot lead for a hard cash. And in the end, their freedom for their crime. It just shows that whenever someone is out there trying to rob a bank, 90% of the time, they are caught. It's just not worth the risk. Jasper County, Missouri. Security cameras capture a mini mart break in. The thieves use heavy bolt cutters on the lock, but it won't budge. Frustrated, they appear to leave looking for an easier way in. They find it. Using their truck as a battering ram, the men smash through the front doors. With the entryway demolished, they stumble through the wreckage on the way to the ATM. They rip it from its foundation and desperately heave the 300-pound machine toward the door. It's just a few more feet to the bed of the truck. But the two find themselves out of their weight class. 
Finally, the determined men tear at the ATM's outer shell to get to the cash. Only to find an impenetrable safe inside. With the robbery taking too long, they know cops are on the way. The frustrated felons give up completely and speed off into the night. They're quickly apprehended and face a stiff sentence for this failed burglary. After a lot of stress and strain, the total take for the bandit's efforts is a big fat zero. Corona, California. A convenience store clerk finishes a transaction when two unusual looking customers enter. One has his hood up, the other wears a wig. By the time the cashier realizes they're up to something, it's too late. The man in the wig whips out a gun and storms the back counter. With his armed partner as backup, he forces the woman to empty the office cash drawer. Next, the holdup man makes her open the first of two registers. When she has trouble with the second register, he presses the gun to her neck. But his threat won't make the drawer open any faster. Suddenly, the robbery takes an even more terrifying turn when a customer walks in. The unsuspecting woman hands the attendant a 20 for gas, then gets a 22 caliber warning not to make a sound. The thug snatches her 20. It's the pathetic last grab in this violent caper. The petrified customer stays put while the clerk makes sure the crooks are long gone before calling police. The disguised duo is still on the run, but with their every criminal move caught on tape, police are bound to unmask them soon. Miami, Florida. Jeweler Eddie DePaula helps his first customer of the day. As always, security cameras are rolling. So he comes in, he looks around, he says he wants to buy an engagement ring, and that he has a budget. And his budget's about $2,000. Eddie shows the customer several diamond rings in his price range. But this guy is not interested in the bling. And then all of a sudden, bam! I mean, there's a gun in my face. Then a shot rings out. Eddie nearly loses his life in the struggle. I just push the gun away from the direction of my body. The gun goes off. Gunshot just to, to the left of me. There's a big bullet hole in the wall behind me. What the stick-up man doesn't know is that Eddie's nephew Mike is working in the back. I yell his name. He doesn't know what he's walking into. Mike rushes in and pulls the suspect off his uncle while Eddie wrestles away the gun. I don't know what got into me. I just reacted. I just take the gun from him. With the tables turned, Eddie orders the assailant to leave. No! 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 But then, changes his mind. Now, all of a sudden, you say, wait, hey, I got a big gun now. I don't have to let you go. But the 20-year-old suspect has no intention of going to jail. I shoot a warning shot at, at the ground to calm him down from the sit still. He doesn't sit still. Incredibly, the criminal even attempts to plea bargain. 
He's running all over the jury store. Please open the door. Let me go. Please, 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 please. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. Just open the door. Let's pretend this didn't happen. But Eddie and Mike are in no mood to play games. Eddie slams the butt of the pistol to the man's head. Finally, the police arrive and place the failed felon in custody. I felt grateful that I lived through a situation like that. This would be groom turned lame thief. Just had his reception moved to the Dade County Jail. Coming up, a brazen home invasion gets broadcast over the internet, capturing the crooks in a world wide web. Then, two partners in crime hold a pair of young brothers at gunpoint. And an organized team of bank robbers stage a vicious attack. That's next on Most Shocking Robberies and Holdups. Moscow, Russia. A guard keeps watch at the entrance to a local bank. He's unaware that the man in sunglasses is part of a ruthless robbery plot, and it's happening right now. The point man blasts the guard in the face with choking gas. Then, two accomplices burst in as terrified bystanders drop to the floor. One of the gang members savagely beats the officer with a blunt club. While another jumps the counter to loot the nearest cash drawer. The armed point man warns everyone to stay down. But when he turns his back, one customer makes a potentially deadly move. The woman takes a split second to snatch her wallet off the counter. Fortunately, her impulsive action goes unnoticed. Moments later, the guard scrambles out from under the pounding assault. But the assailants quickly corner him and gas him one last time. Then all three bandits bolt out the exit. After a merciless beating and being repeatedly sprayed with tear gas, the guard is too injured to chase after them. But the crooks looted the wrong cash drawer. They get away with just $150. Thanks to security footage, police apprehend the two accomplices. And the men reveal a stunning fact about their ringleader. It turns out he's actually a cadet at the Moscow Police Academy. But after this brutal robbery, he's made it all too clear which side of the law he's really on. Wobashin, Ontario. It's just before midnight, and store owner Derek Greasley is getting ready to close down. When suddenly, two masked punks rush in. Just to the right of screen, Derek is walking out of his office. As I reach the bottom of the stairs, I find a gun in my face. And immediately, I don't know what I'm going to do. The guy in the number 22 jersey orders Derek to empty the register while his partner hops around like a man possessed. They seemed uh, as if they perhaps were on drugs or something like that. It's a lethal combination. Two tweaked out criminals and a deadly weapon. At any moment, any one of them could go off. Come on. When they asked for the, the cash on the till, I immediately decided that I'll do exactly what they asked. But when he tries to open the register, the drawer doesn't work. 
the thugs go ballistic. Derek tries again, frantic, but the drawer still won't open. In his agitated state, number 22 points the weapon right at his partner's head. Derek knows he could be next. I was afraid that this was it for me. They thought I was stalling, but I told them, man, I can't do it. I kept saying, I can't do it. Derek backs off, and number 22 rips out the register, then grabs some smokes. When suddenly there's a knock from outside. There's a night watchman, a uh, handyman. Uh, he heard the commotion. He saw the robbers and rapped on the window and said, freeze police. With the gunman distracted and his hands full, Derek chases him out, then shoves him to the pavement. He falls down. He falls out. He immediately gets up, leaves the cash drawer, money's across the parking lot, coins. And I see the other fellows already halfway across the parking lot, and I see them running. And it's no wonder he didn't fight back. It turns out his deadly weapon was actually plastic. When the police arrived and they found a gun broken in pieces, it turned out it was a plastic replica handgun. But fake gun or not, for their brazen robbery attempt, these unsuccessful burglars will be facing some very real time. Palm Bay, Florida. Two young hoodlums bust into a suburban home. They know the owner is at work, so they decide that his property is theirs for the taking. But they're the ones getting taken. The homeowner has a webcam attached to his computer. What the burglars don't know is that their every move is being recorded and stored. They steal jewelry, electronics, and prescription drugs. Then escape with their bounty. But their digital images remain imprinted on the homeowner's hard drive. The men are identified after this footage hits the local news. The perps are charged with burglary and grand theft. They thought they had taken all the high-tech gear in the house. But it was the hidden camera they failed to notice that led to their capture. Salt Lake City, Utah. Two carefree brothers shop for snacks in a convenience store. But their innocent world is about to come crashing down. Outside, two shady men pace anxiously. It's a bad omen. Once the last adult is out of sight, the brothers suddenly find themselves on the lethal end of a madman's gun. The marauders burst in, waving their firearms, only inches from the head of the 10-year-old boy. The lead gunman muscles the kids away from the counter as the other assailant threatens to snuff out their young lives. The robber demands the clerk open the register and with his finger on the trigger, she can only watch as he clears the drawer. The terrifying encounter is over in a flash. But the boys remain traumatized. The two men are later caught and charged in connection with this and several other recent holdups. It's more than any child should have to face. Thankfully, an extensive prison term will ensure they won't have to worry about these men ever again. Coming up... A gang of fashion-savvy scofflaws clean out a clothing store. 
plus. An armed crook holds up a sex shop and shows the clerk his masochistic side. And two men with assault rifles hold an entire restaurant staff at gunpoint. Next on Most Shocking, Robberies and Holdups. Orlando, Florida. Good job. Excellent job. A popular children's-themed restaurant just locked its doors for the night. And the staff is preparing to leave. Usually, this place is famous for its fun and games. But tonight will be no laughing matter. A knock on the door interrupts the manager as he closes down the register. A woman wonders if she left her wallet. The manager writes down her information in case it shows up. It won't. The lost wallet was a setup to unlock the front door. When the woman walks out, two robbers bolt in. And one of them is armed with a deadly AK-47. The rifle-toting hood rounds up the other employees while his partner drags the manager to the office. He forces him to empty the safe under threat of death. The thieves stuff the entire staff into the cramped quarters. Except for one terrified woman they take as a hostage. Thankfully, they were only using her to get out of the building. This desperate duo thought that knocking off a kid's restaurant would be child's play. But when the cops bust them for armed robbery, these gangsters could be grounded for life. New Lynn, New Zealand. A man wearing a security guard's uniform enters a sex shop. But he's not here for pleasure. His lust is for money. He suddenly sticks a gun in the clerk's face. It's the last thing the employee expected. This man who walked in, and to all appearances, uh, was a security guard. He was wearing a security guard's uniform, and that this was uh, perhaps a part of his crime, or um, an element that he used to create a sense of trust with the attendant. But when the terrified worker doesn't immediately comply, the pseudo-security guard goes mad with rage. He lunges for the register, toppling the display case. The man refuses to be strong-armed. So the brute thrashes him until he surrenders the cash. The situation escalates rapidly. A man suddenly became aggressive, uh, grabbed him over the counter, um, pulled him around, uh, was throwing him from side to side. The poor chap behind the counter has been pushed and shoved and thrown around. When it's all over, the cashier is black and blue, while the bandit makes off with $600. What is most alarming in this situation is that somebody used a security guard's uniform to gain the victim's trust. The concern is that if he gets away with it once, he will try it again. Fortunately, this will be the violent mugger's last heist. Just two days later, he gives himself up. Apparently, friends and relatives had told him that he either had to hand himself in or that they would report the matter directly to police. He's charged with aggravated robbery and faces 14 years in prison, where this wolf in sheep's clothing will be watched over by real guards.
Jacksonville, Florida. A quiet night at a local clothing store until... A gang bursts in for an after-hour smash and grab. They use their pickup to plow through the storefront. Before the last piece of glass hits the floor, they rush inside. The alarm blares as the raiders rifle through merchandise, targeting high-ticket items and ripping them off the racks. They move at lightning speed. In less than 60 seconds, the sticky-fingered thieves make off with over $50,000 in loot. But with at least one of the crooks clearly caught on tape, these high-fashion felons will soon learn how their one-minute store clearance adds up to years in jail. West Hollywood, California. It's the third day on the job for this convenience store clerk. Little does this new hire know he's about to get an orientation he never bargained for. The cheerful cashier chats up two female customers. They suddenly bolt in fear as three armed men burst in. Let's go! Back up! The gunman screams at him to open the register. Open it! Open it! Two thugs push him aside as they raid the counter grabbing everything from cash to lottery tickets. Then, quickly as they came in, they're gone. The criminals are still at large. As for the clerk, after this harrowing experience, he decides his third day on the job is his last. Still to come. A gang of hoods breaks into an electronic store and loads up with as much as they can carry. Then, an overly anxious gunman pulls the trigger on an innocent clerk. And later, a crook in a chilling disguise points a giant gun at a horrified cashier. Turn around! When most shocking... Robberies and holdups returns. Tustin, California. Midnight at this mini mart brings nothing more than the occasional customer. But when three men enter in hoods and pointing guns, the term graveyard shift suddenly gains some immediate relevancy. The thieves force the cashier to the register. With a barrel to the clerk's face, one gunman makes it clear they will accept no resistance. This was potentially a very dangerous situation. Anybody that's that's brazen enough to, to commit a crime like this has the potential to, uh, to kill a human being. The attendant quickly empties the cash drawer and backs away. Then, with less than $100 and a carton of cigarettes as their bounty, the hooded hoodlums flee. Leaving the employees shaken, but grateful to be alive. I'd give the attendant an A-plus on how he handled himself in the situation. His compliance with their demands uh, possibly saved his life. They came in as a gang. And when police catch them, that's how they'll go down. Buena Park, California. It's well after closing time when a group of kids pulls up to an electronics store. But it's about to reopen with a 30-pound cinder block. With the glass shattered, the three head straight for the high-priced loot inside. First to go is a 47-inch television, followed by two video game consoles, 
They top off their score with a few laptop computers. The Knights Hall runs to over $9,000. And amazingly, it all fits in their economy getaway car, which is also stolen. They leave with their new appliances, but they won't get to enjoy them. One of the suspects, David Lynn Meyer, is apprehended and confesses to his part in the crime. And now for helping break through windows, he'll be locked behind bars. Phuket, Thailand. A clerk stands alone behind the counter of a mini-mart. In seconds, she will fall victim to a first-time robber's hold-up gone bad. The nervous young man enters gun in hand. Suddenly... The skittish youth accidentally pulls the trigger. The slug hits her abdomen, knocking her back. She goes down hard in terror and agony. Seeing the woman bleeding on the floor, the shooter panics and runs away, empty-handed. The delirious victim reaches desperately for the alarm. Her husband rushes out from the back room and immediately calls for help. But help has already arrived. Outside, bystanders who heard the shot tackle the gunman. Some hold him down for authorities, while others check on the cashier. Thankfully, she survives, and the long arm of the law ensures her attacker faces justice. <laughs> It was the amateur crook's first time behind a gun. Thanks to good Samaritans who held him accountable, it will be his last. Hicksville, New York. A man wearing a plastic bag on his head walks into a gas station. It looks like a joke until he whips out a pistol. The attendant hands him the till, and he's gone. Within the next 45 minutes, the plastic bag bandit strikes two other locations. But his one-hour crime career is short-lived. Police catch up to him soon after, when his lame disguise leaves him holding the bag. Coming up, a barreling booze hound gets smashed in a liquor store and takes more than one for the road. Then, a pair of not-so-sophisticated safe crackers try to hide their crimes and fail. And a camera-stealing thief gives police an early mug shot. That's straight ahead on Most Shocking Robberies and Holdups. West Dallas, Wisconsin. It's just after 2 a.m. and all the bars have shut down. But that won't stop one man from keeping the party rolling. Right through this liquor store. He plows straight through the glass, past the cheap stuff in the sale display, and makes a beeline for the top shelf spirits. He takes his time loading up as much booze as his compact car can carry. Through with his late night larceny, he casually backs out the way he came in. But in his haste to get wasted, this thief forgot one thing. 
His after-hours drive through robbery is all captured on tape. Curtis Rumsey is quickly apprehended and pleads guilty to felony burglary. Armed with this video evidence, cops give the late-night lush a sobering wake-up call and a crash course in justice. Lauderdale Lakes, Florida. At this ice cream parlor, three young men place their orders. But they're not here to satisfy their sweet tooth. During the course of a 10-day time frame, they had committed nine robberies at various businesses in the Fort Lauderdale area. As soon as the cashier opens the register, they strike. The gang's leader vaults the counter and shoves the clerk to the floor. They clean out the cash drawer, then clear out. It's all over in seconds, which is how they planned it. The reason why they committed these robberies at these businesses the cash register drawer was close to the door. With each heist, the gang gets more comfortable. With the hundreds of robberies that I've handled, uh, this is the first one that, that I've actually seen a suspect hold an ice cream cone while he's robbing a business uh, with the other hand. But just a few days later, the robbers are tracked down and apprehended. Knocking over nine businesses netted these crooks just $5,000. But their small-time spree will send them straight to the big house. These guys could spend up to 10 years, possibly 25 years, in prison. Colorado Springs, Colorado. In the dead of night, a pair of burglars sneak into the office of a family restaurant. They were clever enough to acquire keys and passcodes, but that's as far as their good planning goes. First, they spray the camera with oil to hide their faces. Instead, it actually cleans the lens. Not realizing their mistake, they turn their attention to what they came for, the safes. The burglars try to crack the steel reinforced lock boxes, but can't. They move from safe to safe, but each time it's the same. Nothing. And despite their best efforts, it's still all on tape. Then after an hour of failed tries, the frustrated duo are about to give up. When one suddenly gets the bright idea to go to the one source that has all the answers, the internet. After doing a web search on, of all things, safe cracking, the men put their new knowledge into action. Amazingly, it works. They open one safe, then the other. They quickly load up their trash bag with $12,000 in cash and electronics, then run off. These 21st century thieves use their impromptu problem-solving skills to crack a set of safes. But it was the one problem they couldn't solve that will lead police to crack the case. Hamilton Hill, Australia. A suspicious man mills around the parking lot of a radio station. Videotaped by a recently installed security camera. The station has experienced one break-in in 2000 when we brought the building and moved here. At that point, we, we put the security in, including the cameras. But the camera doesn't deter him. It's the reason he's here. Like an excited kid opening a gift, the wily-eyed crook can't wait to make his score. But the camera won't move. He seemed um, frustrated and stalled. I, I believe that he wanted to make the action fairly quick when the, when the camera refused to budge. He pulled some very, very funny faces. And every contorted grimace is being recorded. 
it's very foolish that the uh, thief didn't realise that the camera was storing off-site. The oblivious offender continues undeterred. He finds a piece of concrete and uses it to break the camera free. Finally leaving with what he came for. But not before his image is permanently stored on a computer. And it was a pretty clear film that we got of him. This fellow obviously believed that he was getting away without being filmed. But he couldn't be more wrong. And now that the cops know this funny-faced felon isn't camera shy, it's just a matter of time before they bring him in for a mugshot. Straight ahead, a cold-hearted criminal dons a menacing disguise while wielding a massive gun. Next on Most Shocking, Robberies and Holdups. Corona, California. Matthew Amundsen mops up at an all-night gas station. What he doesn't know is that he's about to come face to face with what nightmares are made of. A masked man bursts through the door. What's in his hand stops Matthew in his tracks. A Magnum revolver with a nine inch barrel. I look up and I see a gun, just a big gun. That's the first thing I saw. With enough firepower to stop a bull in its tracks pointed right at him. Matthew cautiously steps away from the register. I did not consider fighting back at all. I was working at a job where I got seven bucks an hour and I wasn't about to get shot. Although the thug has stashed all the cash, he decides to grab a few smokes for the road. He asked me where the new parts are at and I point them out to him. Then, with nearly every inch of his face concealed, the burglar gives one last chilling look to the camera and casually strolls out the door. The whole thing is over before Matthew knows what hit him. It went by really quick. I mean, he was there and he was gone. As soon as it's safe, the attendant locks up then calls the cops. It is not until police arrive that he understands how easily he could have been killed. I'm talking to the cop, giving my report. And that's when I kind of realized I had a big gun in my face the whole time. And I uh, had to sit down at that point and uh, take stock of my life. This cold-blooded crook had the arsenal and the wherewithal to rob the gas station with frightening precision. But thanks to the level-headed clerk, no one got hurt. Criminals will do anything for the next big score, regardless of who or what gets in their way. And time after time, the threat is the same. Your money Let's go! Back up! Or your life. 